first we're gonna start off with my face wash that I use in the morning yes this is my morning face you guys are seeing how I look when I just wake up so let me just start. so this face wash is from first day beauty it's really gentle on the skin and it usually makes my skin feel very clean without stripping it of its natural oils so i love to use this face wash in the morning After cleansing, I then go in with my Paula's Choice 2% Salicylic Acid BHA Exfoliant. I love using this um, exfoliant. It helps to unclog pores. Um, it shrinks pores as well. So it makes the pores fine and improve wrinkles. It just helps to, you know, improve your skin tone. And it's very lightweight and quickly absorbs into the skin. So my next step would be my Caudalie Vina Perfect Radiant Serum. I've spoken about this product already on my channel. I've actually raved about it a lot. It's like a vitamin C serum substitute. Um, so if you don't like vitamin C, you can get this. But its main ingredient is from grapes. And it's to help. improve skin tone, improve dark marks, and just overall hyperpigmentation, and just improve your skin, giving it a nice radiant glow. All right, so my next step would be my moisturizer. So as of recently, I've been using this Innisfree Dewy Glow Jelly Cream with the Jeju Cherry Blossom. <laughs> it has a very nice gel-like consistency. It sort of reminds me of the Clinique, dramatically different um, jelly moisturizer. It is, the only difference is that this one has a little bit of a sticky feeling than the Clinique. I like it, it's okay. It takes a little bit of a while to absorb into the skin. But it's pretty lightweight. And I always like to use gel moisturizers during the daytime. As I am like more of a combination to oily skin type. So next I follow up with my super goop sunscreen. Yes, look at it, it's almost done. Actually reordered it, so I'm supposed to go collect it. <laughs> but it's the unseen sunscreen. This stuff coming like is like crack. Coming like crack. I can't do without it. I've actually thought about trying other sunscreens and I just I'm just hooked on this one because any other one I try, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be comparing it to this one. And I'm just scared to buy something else and I don't like it or it gives me a white film. And your girl just won't have it. So all the products I'm using will be in the description box below. So if you're interested in trying out any of these products, you can just go ahead and click the links. So my final step for my morning routine is my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Yes, I know it's a lip sleeping mask, which would suggest it's for sleeping. <laughs> I use it all day, every day, night and morning because it's just that good. And that completes my morning routine. 
and I'm ready for the day. <laughs> so for my nighttime routine, usually if I'm wearing makeup, I would use the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. However, I'm not wearing any makeup, which is like most days. Don't really wear makeup every day, only like on occasion. Or if I do, it's like just mascara. So I only use this when I have like a full face of makeup. So, so I'm not wearing any today. I'm gonna go in with my superfood cleanser from Me to the People. It contains kale, green tea, spinach, and a whole bunch of vitamins that are good for your skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my face. This cleanser is said to be vegan. I just love using it. It's not too harsh, but it still does a really good job at cleansing. Almost like my first day of beauty. I love them both. <laughs> the one that I use in the morning, and then I use this one at night time. Okay, so for most nights, I would go in with my Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer after I wash my face. And then Superberry Hydrate and Go Dream Mask is what it looks like. It has vitamin C, squalene, hyaluronic acid. Squalene and hyaluronic acid is very good for moisture retention. Um, you know, vitamin C, a good antioxidant and anti-inflammatory for the skin. And then there's another ingredient in there, I can't pronounce it, but it's called Maqui, M-A-Q-U-I. <clears throat> yes. So most nights I use this. And then on the nights that I use my Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow, I use this one twice a week. So when I use this, I actually follow up with this super rich moisturizer that i have called dam dam tokyo um it's mochi mochi luminous cream so i used this last night and the night before so for tonight i'm gonna be using these two all right but before i go in with these usually once a week i would use my honey gel mask that i got from earth elements here in jamaica and so it's the start of the week and I usually try to do my masking on Sundays and so I'm gonna go ahead and do this today so usually I keep this on for at least 15 to 20 minutes before I rinse it off just to give my skin that extra hydration and just to kind of restore my skin. And also, just take that extra time to just, you know, self-care. It's been about 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna rinse out the mask. I love using this mask, it usually leaves my skin feeling very soft and supple whenever I use it. Alright, so next I'm gonna go in with the Honeymoon Glow from Pharmacy. This is a very powerful serum, it contains 14% PHA and BHA and it also has flower acids along with the hydrating honey. So I only use this like twice a week, <laughs> especially when my skin needs that extra treatment because sometimes I'll have some random breakouts. <laughs> but whenever I use this, I can have a pimple that comes up today and I use it and by tomorrow morning, everything is all calm. Pimples are less red and literally like 
it looks like new skin. <laughs> so I really love this product. This product is like a holy grail. Like I cannot be without this product in my skincare routine. For this one now, which is a Dam Dam Tokyo Matcha Matcha Luminous Cream, it's actually new to my skincare routine. Been using it for about two months. Comes with this little applicator at the top. So it contains shiso leaf. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but it is a Japanese mint leaf which contains antioxidants and omega-3 oils. It also contains phytic acid, which is a type of AHA that is found in Japanese rice and that helps to boost elasticity. elasticity. <laughs> and help with, you know, uneven skin tone. So this cream is pretty thick. So I only like to use it at night. I like to use my heavier creams at night time, just so it's locking on that moisture overnight. Nighttime, I just like to ensure that my skin gets that extra, extra treatment, extra moisture. So to finish off my nighttime routine, I'm just going to go in with my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And that completes my night routine. Very simple, very short, very straight to the point. And yeah. Oops. That is it. I just wanted to come on here and just show you guys the products that I'm using, the products that I'm loving. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share with persons who like these kind of videos. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. See you.